You've seen those websites where you pay one fee per month and you get access to every single model. I'm talking like the newest models from ChatGPT, Claude, Grok, Gemini, Nano Banana, and then all these other tools. Well, in this video, we're going to try one of those where you pay $8 a month and you get access to everything. Value seems amazing, but is it too good to be true? And that's what we're going to find out in today's video. As always, I have a link in the description below, but today's video is i10x.ai. And you can see here, it is $8 per month if you go annual billing and you can see what you get access to. And this is what i10x looks like when you sign in. And you can see we have agents. And then on the left, we have a lot going on. And there is a lot of different models here. So we have an image generator, we can chat with our documents, we can do professional email writer, we compare LLMs, we can summarize text. So let's try to compare LLMs. Let's just see what that looks like. And you can see on the left, we can pick two models and we can see the list. That is a pretty solid list. So let's try chat GPT-5 and let's come on this side and let's go with Claude 4.5 Sonnet. And now we can type up a message, code me an SVG of a YouTube subscribe button. And we're going to hit the send button and we have two models side by side doing a comparison. And you can see how fast it is to use this and it looks pretty good. So Claude 4.5 Sonnet did different versions. So you can see like this one has the bell icon. This is the classic subscribe button. So we're gonna just like try it out. So the first one on the left is actually Claude 4.5, then we go, ChatGPT, and then I decided to throw in the other ones that Claude made as well. I think the ChatGPT one is better, but you can actually see just off this website, we were able to compare two models that quickly. Okay, so we tried Chat Arena, and that's pretty cool. And we can actually see there's like these getting started things in the bottom left, so we can like send our first message. So I went to AI Chat on the left, explain quantum computing like I'm five. We can actually enable search, so it's going to search the web but we can actually go through. And again, we have access to all the top models here that we can use. So let's try this time around, where is our Gemini? We're gonna try Gemini 2.5 Pro with memory, with search. And I guess, depending on which model you pick, there's gonna be different options that pop up depending on what the model can support. So if we went to Grok 4, you can see we have attachments this time around rather than web search. So that's kind of cool. It literally changes based off whatever the model is, and that's kind of convenient. So let's try this one now. And we are using Gemini 2.5 Pro to give us the results, and it's going to have thinking. And I don't know if I enabled search now, now that I say that. So let's just do this again real quick. And we're gonna go to AI chat. It's really simple. We can do that. We can enable search. And actually, see, this is where I went wrong last time. You can enable search, search is enabled, memory is disabled, and let's hit send. And we are now using Gemini 2.5 Pro that quickly to search the web to give us our answer. And I love this whole jumping around model business because I love going from model to model. And the pricing structure of this makes a lot of sense. But anyway, we can see here, imagine a regular computer is like a light switch. It can be either on or off. That's just two options. Now, quantum computing is like a spinning coin. While well, spinning, it's not heads, it's not tails. It's kind of both at the same time. That's, I mean, it's a great explanation. So that is the AI chat system. If we scroll down, that's where our recent chats are. So you can see all the different chats that we've made. We can also click history, I guess, and we can actually see a history of all our different chats. We can also delete them if we don't want them in history. So chat is now gone. And I guess these three dots, you can also delete it from here. So that's pretty cool. So just off the onset, we have a very simple user interface where we can access all the different models and chat with them. And then the chat arena is to go model to model and do a comparison. We also have AI images. So if you're using AI Chat or AI Arena for $8 a month on the yearly plan, you can prompt it 5,000 times per month. But if you go to AI Image, this is where like the whole credit system comes into play. So you can actually see the cost of the run for Nano Banana, and we can actually see it at the top. We can see the number of reviews and we can see information. If we flip, we can see how much this one costs, and I guess it's the same, but 
just for this model, we can actually see we have different options and we can see all the different models that we have access to here. We can also see here so we can see the intelligence of the model and then we can see the speed of the model. So if we want to go fast, we can make a choice based off whatever it shows you. So that's kind of cool. So let's start with a prompt now and we're going to use Nano Banana and say a cat swimming underwater. So let's hit generate image and we are going to generate our image. So after we generate it, we have our image here of a cat swimming underwater, but let's say we want to quickly switch to GPT and see how that one looks. So again, we can just kind of scroll down, we're gonna hit generate, and let's see what ChatGPT comes up with for our image. And you saw the Nano Banana one, Nano Banana is all the rage, it's the most popular model, and probably the best model for image editing, I find it's like either the absolute best model or, or returns basically nothing. There's no real in between. It's either really good or really, really bad. Uh, this model here is taking its time and it does have a two, but that looks really good as well. I, let me know in the comments below which cat looks better. But you can see we are able to quickly jump between models and try different images based off our models. And it's really, really easy. You can see our balance is kind of changing. Let's move on, let's try deep research. And, and it's kind of interesting that deep research is actually just Perplexity Sonar Pro. So you actually have Perplexity built into this. So you're getting access to all the models for chat, you're getting access to all the best image models for image generation, and then deep research, you actually get perplexity. That's kind of amazing. But let's do some research with perplexity now. And my prompt is, can you tell me if Web3 domains are a good investment? And if yes, what is the best site to buy one? And now we can see the answer that perplexity has given us. This is definitely perplexity. This is actually a topic I've been looking into over the last couple of days, and I was using actual perplexity. So I can tell you that this answer here is identical, almost identical to what perplexity gave me, I mean, within reason, just a couple of days ago when I was looking into this. So these two platforms came up and I've been kind of diving into the topic of Web3 and Web3 domains and Web3 hosting, just kind of want to learn more about it. So we have deep research, which is perplexity, and that's pretty cool. We also have PDFs and docs. I've downloaded a sample PDF. I have no idea what's on it. So this will be fun. It's literally sample PDF. Hey, we got confetti flying. We've finished our like little checklist. We finished our quests. So we have a PDF that consists of three pages and explore the various themes, including the nature of length and the Latin phrase. So it tells us kind of what's about this PDF. So can you summarize it with four bullet points? And again, this is going to use credits while we're talking to our PDF. So now that I say that, I'm actually kind of curious. So this is 10 credits per query, and I want to see what kind of credits you're getting here. So we get two and a half thousand credits, and this is going to use 10 of them. So it's pretty reasonable if you want to use this to talk to PDFs or do image generation, which again, it's like 30 credits, you're getting two and a half thousand. So it's a pretty good deal. And we can actually see our summary here. So we have our four bullet points, one, two, three, four. It's all good. We can also click here to see what model we're using. So we're using chat PDF, and we can also copy the response. Honestly, it's pretty cool so far. So I got like one account, I don't have to switch tabs. I can try every single model in one location, and it's priced pretty reasonably. This is a platform where if you want to dabble in all the top platforms, I think this is a pretty good cool tool so far. So let's continue on and let's try video. So under video, we have, again, a bunch of options. We, we have Kling and we have the newer version of Kling, which is good. We have VO2. So, oh, they have VO3. Okay, I was going to say. And we have Mini Max. So let's try VO3 and give it a prompt. So our prompt is the crowd is chanting, subscribe to Franklin AI. We can also add an image. We can change the resolution if we want. So we go up to 1080p. And honestly, this is where the credits really burn. So this is 800 credits just for this one video. So let's hit generate here. And I have the credits to burn, so let's do it. But if you're paying like $8 a month for this and you're going for that plan, you're going to burn through your credits pretty quick. So you're going to get like three videos. So if you're going to do like PDFs, images, research, chats, and just that kind of stuff, it's a fantastic deal. If you're on like the $8 plan, I don't advise you to use videos because you're going to burn through your credits super fast. But nonetheless, if you want to create videos, they have the top models here that you can play with to create videos. And again, it, this should be VO3, so we should have audio with our video. It should look really good, and we should have our crowd chanting. Oh, GI! Whoa! Subscribe!
subscribe to Franklin AI. Oh, she I. Oh, subscribe to Franklin AI. That's amazing. So there's a lot going on just there. That's, that's a lot of different things you can do. And then I realized there's this whole discover tab and we can actually search for agents that already exist. So say we want to do an image and editing generation, we can actually scroll through and you can see there is a load more and this will just go through kind of forever. There's literally so many different things. If we don't want to do marketing and SEO, they have something for you. They kind of have something for everyone. So if you're want to use it for marketing, business, whatever you want to use it for, they will have something for you. So say we want to use this AI copy editor. We can literally click this. This is an agent that someone made or they made, I10X AI made, and we can actually create marketing copy for SEO optimization. So we can actually write a message and now we can use this for SEO for a marketing business. They also have on the left, if they can't find what you want under the discover tab, which I don't know how you couldn't, they have a create agent button. And now we can actually go through and create our own agent. So we can actually see all the different models that they have here and we can create an agent to do whatever we want. So let's try nano banana here. So we're gonna create an agent. We're gonna pick a category and let's pick creative and fun. Let's give it a name and we're gonna call it Grillify. And then we're going to give it a description. <laughs> I'm going to paste in this prompt here that I have, and it says to transfer the user's request, and it just kind of goes on to explain what we want it to do. We can also make the agent public or not. So I guess I was right. It's not just i10x.ai putting up agents there, but it's like everyone at community collection, which is really cool. And then we can add an image. So there's our agent. We can hit publish. And we now have our own agent that has to go under review and guess they have to review it for it to go public. But now other people can actually use our agent. In the meantime, we can go to the discover, we can hit creative and fun and just try one of the many things that are on here. And how about this one here, which is a meme generator from text. So we can say, hey, make a meme working from a bed during a Zoom call or whatever we want. A meme about trying to edit a YouTube video. We're going to hit send. And now we're going to wait for the agent to work. And we can see here the layout description, the caption, and it just kind of gave us information. I wonder if we can turn this into an image. Well, guess what? Right on this tool, we can copy this. We're going to go to AI image. We're going to paste this in. I have no idea what it's going to do <laughs> because it's not really made we didn't really give it a great prompt, but anyway, let's see what it comes up with. Let's see what it does. All right, let's open this up in a new tab so you can see it a little bit better. And it says me trying to edit my YouTube video, hours of scrolling through stock sound effects and transitions, actual progress on the edits. So like my actual progress is like behind me, but I'm just kind of scrolling through and all the stock sound effects and transitions look really cool but I haven't actually done any work. So it, it does make sense. That's actually pretty good. And then it says me, I swear, this will only take an hour. And then three hours later, I'm still looking for the perfect swoosh sound effect. It's actually pretty good. And it's really cool because we did this all on one website, one login, one account, and then it just all kind of worked. Love to know your thoughts on this. Do you like the idea of like one login with all the tools in one location? Or do you still prefer like the method of subscribing to each individual one, depending on whatever they are offering there? So let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you always think. Don't forget to subscribe at Cover AI on a daily basis. Like the video if you enjoyed it, because it tells the algorithm, hey, I like this kind of content. I want to see more of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.